Hello and welcome to Silent Creativa. From time to time my father asked me to do some quite weird stuff for him. Weird even for me. And yeah, this time he asked me to sculpt a donor for him and yeah. Obvious, the first step was to soften the clay, and then I tried to shape it into a bun. And yeah, I wasn't quite sure how realistic I would like this thing to be. So I tried my best to make it semi realistic. Reason to buy one. No, no. According to this one, I made some indents with a ruler and then just sliced it open. For coloring it, I used some trusty old soft pastels, and to give it a little bit more of a realistic look, I shaded everything with a darker color. For the lamb, I colored the polymer clay with brown soft pastels, mixed it in and then rolled it out, gave it a little bit of structure and used the same color again to make it darker from the outside. Then I gave it some more structure again. I cut it into stripes and then folded it a little bit onto itself and gave the edges some more structure with a toothbrush to resemble the original texture of meat. For the salad I did quite the same as with the flash, except for using green instead of brown, and skipped the step with the uh, texture in the end.
same for the red cabbage, but this time I just sliced it into small strips. For the cucumbers and the tomatoes, I first thought to make a shell out of the polymer clay and then later make the part inside with um, resin, but I skipped this and made it a little bit easier for me and just made a roll out of polymer clay, colored it green and gave the outside another shade of green. And then I sliced it into quarters. For the tomatoes, I went much easier again and just made little red balls and sliced them into pieces. In the end, they could be cherries too, but doesn't matter. I think everything together looks quite good and nearly like a donor. I tried very hard to make onions and failed miserably on this, so I decided to leave them out. To save some polymer clay, I filled the donor with some aluminium foil and liquid sculpey, or in this case liquid Fimo, and then just put everything inside of it. For the sasiki and the hot sauce, I just used liquid Fimo and mixed some white and red polymer clay into it and then just dripped it over everything. Then I baked everything according to package instructions and the last step was to glaze the donor. I used a glossy varnish for 
everything that is a little bit more moist and a matte varnish for the outside and the meat. From an old envelope I cut it a corner out and wrapped it around the donor. Yeah, and that was it. I'm quite happy how it turned out. As I mentioned, it's more semi-realistic than total realistic, but I think it's quite okay for the first attempt of making miniature food. Though I had quite a lot of stuff, I tried to make a burger from the rest of everything and yeah. That went quite nice too, and now my dolls have something to eat. Yay! So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit, and yeah, have a nice day. And till next time. <laughs>